Hey guys, this is Jay from AOHW and I am back with another midweek message for you and happy new year everybody. Let's jump right into the reading. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. All right, tapping into the collective. This is for all signs, all signs, messages for all signs for the remainder of this week. Happy hump day. Messages for all signs. We have write about your thoughts and feelings. Write about your thoughts and feelings for this week. I'm going to read the prayer that says, Thank you for helping me tap into my God given creativity and wisdom so I clearly express myself and glean insight, blessing, and healing. So some of you are being blessed, some of you are being healed, some of you need healed, some of you need blessings. Um, insights are coming through for you today. Hopefully it gives you a little, this reading gives you a little bit of clarity for um, the remainder of the week. Okay, some things that have been transpiring for you and things that may come up for you. Let's pull some tarot for you. Write about your thoughts and your feelings. messages for all signs for this week. The death card is coming out. Two of Wands. The Hermit reversed. The Two of Pentacles. Y'all see these cards just flying out, right? <laughs> let's do one more card. Actually, let's do two more cards. We're going to go with seven cards today. Just because it's a seven universal year. That's my favorite number. One of my favorite numbers is my personal year is a seven. It is a very spiritual conscious year. I'll take that. Bottom of the deck here, I have the Queen of Cups, Pisces energy. Could also be Cancer or Scorpio, okay. Queen of Cups energy there, okay. So I have the Death card and the Two of Wands. Then we have the Hermit reversed and the Two of Pentacles. And then I have the Queen of Pentacles and the Strength card. Okay. So this Queen of Cups energy, um, this could be energy in your chart. This could be your zodiac sign, your moon, your Venus, however it shows up for you. Um, I'm going to read it as energy unless I feel um, it's an actual person. Okay. So this Queen of Cups energy here is making me feel like you guys are um, feeling emotionally stable. You have a clear understanding of how you're feeling inside. Okay. And maybe how you want to express that into the world as well. Some of you could be um, also holding on to something. Okay, so maybe this is why Spirit is saying write about your thoughts and feelings um, so that you can let this go. Okay, for some of you, there is a lot that's going on around you. Maybe some of you are in the place of feeling very vulnerable, feeling very watery, feeling emotional. Also, for some of you, feeling very uh, free and illuminated in this moment too. All right, so we have the Death and the Wands card. So this makes me feel like you guys are, some of you are in a place of letting go of something or letting go of someone. You're discovering something that um, that maybe you didn't see before and you have clear direction. You have clear feelings around um, if how this serves you and, or if it does not serve you anymore. This Hermit card in reverse in the Two of Pentacles, I do feel like um, this energy, sorry, I meant to tell you the signs, the um, Scorpio energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, this Hermit is Virgo energy, and we also have uh, Taurus and Capricorn, okay? So no air signs 
on the board, but again, this could um, pertain to your emotion. So this Hermit Reverse and this Two of Pentacles. So I feel like some of you ha are coming out of um, the light now. You're coming out of the light. You were, were in, the, in the darkness. Maybe some of you have been isolated. Maybe some of you have been in deep contemplation and I feel like you have received some truth or clarity around something. You've gained awareness around something and now you gotta make a decision with the Two of Pentacles there. Making a decision about something. And this could be making a decision about a person. A person, this could be making a decision about a career because we have the Queen of Pentacles here. De making a decision about money moves. Um, something that's going to elevate you to the next level with this Queen of Pentacles. And then also the Strength card here. Some of you are exploring new passions as well. New passions that are coming to life in this, in this week. And, uh, and as we're, we're stepping into this, we have stepped into this new energy in January. There's a, there's new passion. Some of you are feeling very strong and confident in who you are and your abilities when it comes to maybe stepping into um, a new career or um, starting a new business for some of you as well. I think you have a clear understanding of, of, of that. So I feel like you have a lot of thoughts and feelings around things. Again, with that Queen of Cups energy here. And then, then this write about your thoughts and your feelings because there's so many emotions going on. I think you need to get some of that out. Okay, so maybe that is a good thing for you to do this week is to journal or um, write things down on a piece of paper or in a journal or have a gratitude journal for all the things that you're grateful for. But Spirit is saying, get this energy out, okay, so that you see it on paper. This allows you to sort of open up the universe, allow the, allow the universe to open up for you for these things to come to your fruition, for you to be able to create this, okay? Understanding financial gains, um, having a clear direction of um, what decision to make when it comes to a relationship or when it comes to your career or your finances or just personal goals in general, okay? So let's see if there's anything else. The Princess of Swords here. Um, maybe someone coming in to help you with this too. Um, feeling a lot of friend energy for some of you guys too. Maybe asking a friend for help. Maybe asking a friend for clarity for uh, or for advice so that you receive clarity. So those are some options that you guys can take into the remainder of the week, okay? Since this is our first week of January, you need to get clear around some things. Maybe asking for help or just writing things down will definitely help you for the remainder of the week, okay? Thank you all for tuning in. Again, be sure to like this video, comment if this resonates with you, share this video with your family and your friends. Make sure they also subscribe so they can see all of my videos as I just post it each monthly, um, each Zodiac for the month of January, okay? Again, thanks again. I'll see you guys very soon. Many blessings, love and light. Peace, guys. Take care.